Hey guys, so yesterday's video I told you that I had big plans to make black bean burgers for supper for day four, which you're watching this on day four. This is actually still day three. Um, my plans changed for the third time yesterday, or today, which is yesterday when you're watching this. And um, we didn't go to church with my in-laws, decided to stay home. We're gonna go to church with them tomorrow night, uh, which is the night that you're watching this. And um, so I am gonna go ahead and make the black bean burgers tonight. So I'm gonna show you really quick how I do it. Um, so let me show you what we've got. Okay, so if you recall, back uh, a couple of days ago when we started the challenge, I made a big pot of black beans. They were dry beans, did a quick soak on them, drained it, uh, filled the pot up again with water, added some seasonings, and then cooked it for a couple of hours until the beans were tender. Okay, so then I took out what I needed for the chili that I made and then froze the rest of it. I ended up with two full quart size bags. So I took this out this morning when I decided to do the burgers. This is one quart bag and I've just drained it and I've rinsed it. Now I'm going to just transfer this into the bowl. I'm trying to get as much water out as I can. Okay. Okay guys, here's what we've got going on so far. Um, I will tell you, I tried to mash the beans with a my cheap plastic potato masher and then I ditched it, tried to use a fork, ditched it and just used my good old hands and squashed the beans. Um, then I added, um, I don't know, that's probably three fourths of a cup of rice. Keep in mind I'm using what I have on hand. The rice was already cooked, it was already in the fridge. Um, so I'm gonna utilize it. I'm going to add some garlic powder. I also, well, that's a lot of garlic. <laughs> I also uh, have a little bit of minced, or not minced, um, finely chopped bell pepper from the garden and onion from the garden. I'm gonna add just a little bit of onion powder. Now, I will tell you that if I had some cumin, which I know I said this when I was making the chili, it would totally go in there but I don't have any, so I just have to use what I've got. Okay, so that's that. Um, now I'm going to add one egg. Now this is the equivalent of two cans of black beans, so I might need to use two eggs, but I'm gonna start with one and see where I get. Um, and I also have some breadcrumbs. Now these are Italian breadcrumbs. Hopefully it's not gonna make my mixture taste funny that we're just gonna work with what we got here. Good grief, I started stirring and then realized that I did not add any salt or any pepper, which is just crazy. And you're just doing this to taste. I could tell you how much I put in mine, but you might want more in yours or you might want less. So just use your old taster figure it out and I can already tell that I'm gonna to need to go ahead and put the second egg in there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay this is what it looks like um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up my cast iron griddle I'm gonna put some what I have left of my extra light tasting olive oil um, and then I'm gonna get my skillet hot and I'm gonna get these patties on and I'll show you how I do that. okay so I'm gonna take this ice cream scooper just so I can get like even sizes. I'm gonna scoop it out and then I'm gonna put it in my hand and I'm gonna form it into a patty and pop it on the griddle. While that's cooking, I'm going to make some fries using these potatoes and this here mandolin. And I'm just gonna make some thin fries and crisp them up on the stove. And Emily is making some too. Okay guys, I've got black bean burgers on the griddle. I've got my oil hot and ready for my fries. So here we go. These are really, really thin, so they're gonna cook up pretty quickly. Mm. You excited about supper pepper? Yes, especially the fries. So this is what we've got so far. I just tasted it. They do need a little um, more salt, but they're still really good. And uh, we can just salt them at the end. Right, it's very good. 